in Niigata, Japan. She attended the University of Japan studying agricultural physics. In uh, 1998, she moved to Northwest Territories, Canada, where she was a handler for Grant Beck. And after watching the Iditarod on television the following year, she began to dream of running the race. Yuka Honda, bib number Back to Canada to start her own kennel, this time in the Yukon Territories. Ginja Express Kennel is now home to 26 dogs. She says these are her family. And she completed the Yukon Quest in 2000, and she competed uh, the uh, she completed the Yukon Quest in 2012. Uh, and for the last three years, she's worked as a janitor. So everybody's had a little. We got rocket scientists. We got janitors. She was also an agricultural physicist. She's got she's got all kinds of stuff going on in her background. Yuka Honda, bib number 60. Nine, Ten seconds eight, now as we seven, run out the six, gate. Five, Again, four, live coverage of three, the 20. 15 Iditarod brought to you right here on 96.3 The Wolf. Go, you got go! Leaving it out there. The last great race on earth, of course, is the Iditarod. As they run down the chute, good looking dogs. The chute is looking really tough right now, folks.